Hey there guys, we're in the Elite Four to take it on and see if we can beat it. Uh, this is far from the first time that I've actually been here, but this is the first time I do feel like we could actually get through the Elite Four. I've mostly used the Elite Four to train up a bit, especially getting some of our newer Pokemon like Jirachi. Uh, up to somewhat of a decent level. It's not up to nearly the level that a lot of the other Pokemon are up to, but we needed fairy moves on something or whatnot uh, on the team, and I just really couldn't find anything that I was too happy with, and I knew that we could get Jirachi, um, so I got that and added it to the team and have been leveling it up. And I've leveled up some of the other Pokemon a bit as well, obviously. Um, but, yeah, this is the team that we've got right now. We're going to lead with Garchomp against uh, Aaron here. And we're probably going to... We, we will do pretty well. Uh, I've already battled Aaron a few times, and it's gone really well. So, we don't need to really... I don't even... Like, I think last couple of times, I haven't even healed after facing Aaron. Like, I've just been like, okay, bro... Let's take on Bertha, you know, and then go on and healed after that. So we probably won't need to do too much after this uh, in terms of healing. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but I do doubt that we will need to do too much. But anyway, let us get through these um, bugs. And I do know that we don't usually take down the uh, dust ox in one move. Oh, it didn't set up screens. Okay. That is odd that it didn't set up screens. It usually sets up screens. Ah, yes, and we do have leftovers on uh, Garchomp. I did find it, which was useful. Uh, so, yeah, that, is, that was pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, and uh, it sucks that Garchomp can't really learn a physical fire move because that would be super pog, but... It is what it is, and as I say, we're not. This battle isn't really anything to really write home or talk much about, to be honest. Um, but you know, it, it's here, and I wanted to show you guys kind of what I've been doing. Um, I will switch for Heracross uh, for Crobat, but yeah, um, I think most of this uh, gets soloed by one Pokemon or another. Most of our Pokemon will probably solo this instead of Pokemon. Perhaps Jirachi, which is at a very low level. Uh, and I just couldn't really be bothered uh, leveling it up much more. Um, and I did want to have at least six members on the team. Not having just five members on the team or four members on the team or whatever. <laughs> um, I just find that it works out a lot better in terms of numbers uh, of Pokemon that we have to switch into and whatnot. Um, so... Yeah, it just helps us out quite a bit. Um, we don't really care about this. This is fine. Like, it doesn't really matter, like I said, what we kind of, you know, keep in, don't keep in. But I was thinking that the last two mons after Beautyfly, uh, uh, yeah, Beautyfly, because the other one's Dust Hunts, um, uh, Garchomp can really easily handle it. But uh, Beautyfly seems to do it to hold on, I don't know why. So I was just thinking, oh, uh, we'll skip, keep Crobat in for this, and then we'll switch. Instead of uh, having to sort of screw around a little bit. Uh, so let's switch for, um, where is he? Guruchimp. Garchomp is very clutch in this team. Um, has a really a uh, good matchup against um, Flint, a couple of Flint's Pokemon. Um, is also quite good against uh, Cynthia. Um, helps us drag out certain Pokemon that we really need to drag out. Actually, it also has a really, since it has uh, dark type moves, it has really good coverage for some uh, Pokemon that we wouldn't normally have good coverage for with it. Um, and that was one big problem that I kept coming into when I was looking through Pokemon that we could use and some of the better Pokemon that we could use was I couldn't really find enough dark type moves or enough you know moves that would hit the psychic types um, so 
that was a big issue. Um, so yeah, we really couldn't get past Lucian because we just didn't have enough Dark type or Ghost or whatever super effective damage essentially on those Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I think we have solved that issue. It's not completely solved perhaps, but it is probably a whole lot better. Now I know Jirachi will probably go down on the first like two turns uh, against Spiritomb, but it does seem like she does switch it um, and whatnot. So uh, when we switch in something else, so that's really useful. Uh, and any levels, of course, are just also useful as we're going through. But uh, it really needs to gain 22 more <laughs> levels <laughs> for the most part to be really good. But yeah, like, and this Drapion Garchomp can easily take this out. So, yep. And I'm kind of glad I put Earthquake on this. Dig was okay, but Dig often took too long, especially against Pokemon that also had Earthquake and whatnot. Um, so that really hurt us. And Garchomp through this battle was pretty much the only one I think that took any damage. And I don't think it took significant damage. Like, it took some damage, but it didn't take significant damage. So... And we're probably not using it too much against the next, uh, the next Elite Four member, so I don't think we even need to heal it. Like, we can heal it after that, um, that win, which we'll probably get, uh, as long as we are not dumb, and I'm not that dumb, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, someone is writing in the comments right now. Uh, so... What we want to do here is Palkia, uh, question mark, or... Oh yeah, because she leads with... what's the name? So we want to lead with Palkia. Yep. Alright. Alright, Buffer. Buffer the D's nuts. <laughs> I have to make all the terrible jokes. Um, it's in the contract, I swear. <laughs> That's what we worked out. Quagsire! Yeah. The, the other one was grass. Yeah, that was that was it. The grass was the other thing that we really couldn't cut I couldn't really come up with. So I just decided, you know what, since we can't really get grass, we're just gonna brute force things and see how it goes. So spatial ran seems to do pretty good work. But that's because, well, this is a legend and it's pretty darn strong, so. Anyway, fake wood. So yes, uh, Palkia also has really good, just like easy sweep for the most part with this, uh, with this one as well. So that makes it really easy for us to get to um, to Flint, and Flint is basically pretty easy as well. With uh, only I think um, Lopany being the only one that I sometimes switch with and sometimes I switch with Gyarados for um, for certain Pokemon and whatnot they can't really hit us on the uh, in the air but that's fine as long as we get through it you know it really doesn't matter but and the thing is like I've beaten this game with worse teams but it's usually just the level of Pokemon that really matters and whether you're healed up and whatnot before battle and things like that, especially when you're going into certain battles. We didn't really need it with this battle because we're not really using that Pokemon, so it's not really uh, worth, you know, worrying about healing. Golem does take several turns to take down just due to the fact that it has Sturdy, but mm, that's fine. We want her to use her full restores more so on this than on her last Pokemon, so that's fine. Yeah. Alright, now, um, so yeah, we want to keep surfing. I always forget <laughs> what her last mod is, but we do want her to use up a full restore. It's weird to think that sometimes the AI keeps doing this. Sometimes it doesn't, um, but... 
whatever. Even so, even if we got it on the last Pokemon, it wouldn't be that bad. But again, it's just one of those things that it's so much easier um, just to make a waste them on this thing since it's so slow, it can't really do anything. It can't really hurt us too badly. Uh, we will resist anything anyway for the most part. Plus, we're just going to make it, you know, make her waste her restores on this thing. So, uh, I don't know. I think that's all of the restores that she has, but whatever. Yeah, must be. There we go. I lose track of how many they all have because they have a lot. And it's nice sometimes when we do get runs where we don't see them, but we often see them. Um, so, but, like, these battles, as I say, they aren't too scary, they aren't too interesting. We get through them pretty quickly, to be honest. The only thing that does slow us up is um, the sturdy sort of things, the like, full restore, full restore, full restore, you know, several turns in a row, or whatever, sun power, something stalling us out, whatnot. Those sorts of things. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're going to get through this pretty quickly. Get into Flint. Uh, we'll lead with Palkia for, for Flint as well, I suppose. Um, so, I assume we'll need to heal. I don't even think we'll need Garchomp for this battle. Oh, no, we're not that badly hurt. We'll probably get taken down though, but that's fine. We can heal afterwards, and we've got Gyarados, and then we've got a whole bunch of other Pokemon that we can switch into if we really, really need to. So that's probably fine. I've done this several times where I've gone through these these guys now. None of them are that important or really that scary, as I sort of said. Um, it's really Cynthia. Cynthia is the one we've got to really like. Uh, worry about so we've really got to be healed up before we get into Cynthia but the rest of the them aren't really as scary at this point we use them to farm levels and that's about it so that's that tells you the you know extent of the scariness I think we do get poison most of the time here no oh, we didn't get poison this time uh, it's funny to think that it uses poison jab but it has no hands to jab with <laughs> what is this I don't understand that but whatever uh, I'm assuming uh, Lopany is coming out yeah all right so we'll switch for Lopany do Infernape yeah so now move pool has gotten a bit better since we have um, uh, leveled up I was thinking about using heart scales to get um, certain moves for certain Pokemon rather than leveling them up. I just found that leveling them up was a whole lot easier and quicker, to be honest. Oh yeah, and then you'll bring in um, the snake. The snake. Uh, so we can take out the snake with this. Pretty sure. He, he usually brings that in, from what I've seen. He might do something completely different, who knows, this time. Um, but yeah. No, Steelix. So that's fine, we can take take down Steelix pretty easy. <clears throat> we could take it down with a lot of other things, but that's pretty irrelevant. We could take it down with this, so might as well keep in um, and whatnot. It's alright if he uses Restores. It's even alright. Uh, if he hits us, I think. I think we got hit with something before. Yeah, with Iron Tail, which I thought, wow, that's a bit random, but whatever. Um, but yeah. Okay, so he didn't heal for no, uh, no unbeknownst reasons. Alright, but we'll have to switch after this because we've taken too many stat drops and we're also lost way too much health. Yeah. Um, anyway. Drift Bloom. Ow, yeah, we need Gyarados, I think, for Drift Bloom. 
because we need dark type moves to take it out quickly before it uh, minimizes too much and then baton passes. One uh, run through I got down to just having his drift bloom and I can't remember what, what did I have. I think Crobat. I think I was down to Crobat and he was down to Drift Bloom. And he ran out of uh, moves and struggled. Um, because we both kept, we both basically couldn't really do anything against each other. Uh, but that killed it. That that ended it. So anyway, um, I hate how Willow uh, drops our attack because if you don't outspeed it, then your attack is halved. So that attack would have probably killed, or almost killed, and two of these attacks would have just killed. So, but yeah, now three, but it really can't um, afford to. Um, set up too much, which is good. It has to try to straight sap us, which yeah, does waste some time and some turns and whatnot. Uh, but again, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I might even use just Ice Fang just to see if we maybe get the freeze. But if we don't, then eh. And it's starting to set up now. Hopefully this these will hit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're the same. Um, actually, this is a hundred, so we better to, we better to use Crunch because it's more accurate than Ice Fang, and plus it's more damage. And sometimes we don't, we go several turns without hitting it when it's like this, but even then it's fine, like, he's switched into Infernape several times and, like, like this when he thinks he can, and then it's just been like, cool, I uh, kill Infernape, oh, okay, <laughs> with Karanos, or whatever. So, yeah, we just got a crit there, which was good, and we got rid of Burn, which was also good. But that is the power of uh, friendship hacks, so... But we just get burned again, but now it can't set... Well, it's not setting up, so... We got rid of burn again, so now... Yeah, it would have been nice to hit. Tries to get hit with, with the Willows, but again... Ah! God damn. But whatever, it is what it is. It hasn't set up as much now, so it's minimizes and it hasn't but time passed. And we're making him use his full restores. And he's getting hit with um, with moves, so his uh, evasiveness has gone down in theory, or at least we're hitting more, I don't know. But uh, you would think that that would be what it is, because otherwise it's makes no sense. Strength Sap is very annoying. This is what the part of the battle that probably takes the most uh, time here at the end. And we do start running out of PP at a certain point, which is annoying as well, but... So we'll have to start looking I hope he actually does baton pass to a degree because um, that would help us to. Well, he is baton passing. There we go. I actually predicted that he baton pass. Okay. Sweet. As long as we actually hit, I guess. Nope, of course not. I think he didn't want a baton pass due to um, um, the fact that we actually have a water type and we're pretty low. Um, so we could go down here, which we might. I'll be toughed it out. We still can't hit him, apparently. 
We've hit him several times in other runs where it's come down to this. But we'll have to move into Palkia, which is fine. Um, where is Palkia? Oh, hold on. We've had to do this several times as well. He really can't do too much to us. So, he can close, close combat, that's that's probably it, but he lowers his um, stats when he does. We just have to hit, which is annoying, but we just have to hit. So, this part does slow down quite a bit unfortunately, but and it is very annoying at certain points, um, but what can we do? This is all we can really do. I'm surprised that we kind of survived that, but like we, it's not like we have super duper options, but it's not like we have none. Now he's going to outspeed us, so it really might not matter what we go for here, but I will just do whatever is uh, thinking that we would get the hit. Uh, or try to get the hit as much as possible. Now we're in some kind of trouble, but we can deal with this, or we can try to deal with this. Crobat's probably our best option at this point. Um, so, and this might take a few turns too, but that this is all we can kind of do. So, you know, oh, and it hits. That's sweet. There we go. That no didn't kill. Killed. No, didn't quite kill, I don't think. Yeah, it had a Focus Sash. Okay. Thunder Punch doesn't do that much to us, plus we have Black Sludge, so it does even less to us, so that's fine. Um, I think we can easily fly again, so that's fine. Even if we don't hit this fly, we'll eventually maybe hit one of the flies, um, so we'll get there. Now, there we hit this one, so that's that's pretty much the end of the battle right here, right now. It's not literally the end, but it pretty much is, because um, his Pokemon really can't do a whole lot to us. Um, I do want to switch to something else. Um, hmm. What has Thunderbolt? Or a really good Dark Move? Uh, or yeah, just Shadow Claw, Infernape could be fine, since Infernape's probably going to outspeed. So Infernape or Garchomp, maybe I could go for Jirachi, but Jirachi's a pretty low level, I don't really want to have to heal it up. I think Infernape's probably the best choice there, not too sure. Somebody is writing the best option in the comments, I can tell, but... Infernape seems like the best choice because you just lay up the fact that it's uh, faster and it's, you know, physical uh, hit will be so much more. And I did have to change quite a few of the movesets because I thought, oh, well, we'll need to deal with this and we'll need to deal with that. Or I think I'll need to deal with this and I think I'll need to deal with that. But realistically, I found that um, I just didn't need to deal with certain things and I was just like, nah, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about this. We don't really need to worry about that. What we really need to worry about is this, 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 and this. So I nailed it down to the things that we I felt like we actually needed to worry about and then just moved on and was like, oh, okay, this is much better. Now we're actually having things that are actually dealing with the things that we were like worried about or needing to worry about or whatever. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, and that is Flint. That one went not the best, but not the worst that I've actually had going through Flint. Um, but hey, <laughs> you know, uh, as I say, we do get through it. It, it. I think he's probably the one that takes one of the most times, but yeah, whatever. We'll get to lose him. Just, um, yeah, I'm just going to heal up, so. All right. So, yes, Lucian. Um, and as we get into this battle, 
I think uh, like some people might be a little bit confused by my lead, but you'll see why I'm leading with this thing in a second, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, because of his first Pokemon, you would think it has a bad um, matchup against his Mr. Mime, but it actually has a pretty good one, um, which is Crobat. So some people might not remember that uh, Mr. Mime was one of the few ones that was a very type. Um, so, this is a pretty easy knockout with uh, Crobat for the most part. Um, it does sometimes get up Reflect and whatnot, but the Reflects don't last too long and we just power through them for the most part. We don't really care. They just don't affect us. They do affect us, but they don't affect us enough to worry about and they don't last long enough for us to be adversely affected. Alright, so now uh, I believe he sends in Alakazam. Um, yeah, Alakazam. So... Um, what do I usually switch in here? Either Gyarados or Palkia usually, I think. Do I want to send in uh, actually, I probably will send in Gyarados or Garchomp. Um, I might send in Garchomp because he's got more PP um, ready, so he can he can like lose a little bit of PP there to um, to take this down. That's fine. We used a lot of crunches on earlier Pokemon. This is nasty plotting. That's fine. Uh, we're more worried about future psych, psychic, anything else because, like, if even if he's setting up, he just doesn't ha really have that much time to set up. Even though there's reflect up, he doesn't have that much time. Like, yes, he can full restore and whatnot, but we're gonna take him down before he can really do anything because he's gonna either have to choose between healing or attacking or you'll just get one shot like sometimes so you know it is what it is and uh yeah it sucks for uh, him but it's good for us <laughs> uh mandy chan i did want to switch for that all right so we'll send in crobat for that Some of the switches are pretty mindless. You just like, oh, okay, what's good against that? All right, throw that. Right, boom. Is this? Do this. Do that. Do this. Boom. Fly up high in the sky. So high. Zen headbutts misses. We go for fly. We hit. Even if again, like reflect is up and we're not doing as much, that might have been a one shot. But it doesn't matter enough. And even if he hits us here, it like often doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. Like, because it's not like we don't have anything that we could use against this, but it's just that we don't have air, something as good, perhaps. Uh, but yeah. So we fly, again, takes it down. Alright. Um, so now, what's next? <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit like, uh, what's next? <laughs> um, then Reflect wears off, Giraffe Rig. Alright, so we'll switch for Giraffe Rig into Garchomp. Alright. He only has two Pokemon left. I can't I can't half the time remember half of the Pokemon. The, oh yeah, Bronzo. So yeah, that's actually a really good switch because we have both Dark and we have Fire moves for it. So and I think he used like two, maybe three full restores. So yeah, it doesn't have that many, if any, left. I'm not too sure. 
Um, so even if we don't kill it, we're doing significant damage to it. And I do find that Crunch does a little bit more, but we we want to chip it with uh, Flamethrower first. Uh, and all we want to see if he actually has full restore so that we can just shoot it down with um, with Crunch. Your trick room, which really doesn't do a whole lot at this point in the battle. Um, so, yeah, we'll flame throw at this point. That's fine, we don't care about that. Did barely mean thing. Alright, bro. It's a cool story. We we'll get you down into the red. I'm pretty sure he'll use the full. Oh no, he has the berry. That's right, he has the berry. Alright, so he'll berry. Alright. Actually, he doesn't have sturdy, does he? Or does he? He'll probably f uh, restore. Maybe. Alright, well, we'll just crunch to try to take it out at this point because it's pretty low. And we'll probably get it. There we go. Alright, cool. So that is that. So we're on to Cynthia. And yeah, I'm gonna heal up between this battle and I might even use an ether or two or whatever. But yeah, we'll get to seeing where how we go against Cynthia. Alright, Cynthia. Let's get it on! So, I do feel a little bit confident because we were so close in a battle, um, I think before I put on this stream uh, and whatnot, uh, where we got her down to just a Garchomp and we hadn't really healed before the battle uh, and we got her Garchomp down. Um, I shouldn't have been leading with Crobat. Okay, well that's not good, but um, hmm, um, that's actually changed my plans. I was going to be leading with Jirachi. Um, ugh, me may have made a big boo boo. <laughs> may have made a big boo boo here. Um. Alright, well, we have to deal with this as it is. We can't change right now. Alright, so let's just fly out of the way. Fly, fly in the sky. Um, it avoided our attack. Okay, that's not good. This is not good. That's not good. Okay, we're a bit over half. We do need Crobat for Myelotic. We do perhaps need Crobat for her Infernape and her uh, Lucario. Oh, does she have Infernape? Does she have Infernape? No, she doesn't have Infernape. What am I thinking of? Just Lucario. Um, what else? And perhaps, not Whiskash, what, what's her water ground type Pokemon? Can't think. My brain is not working. Right, we just need a Giga Drain then, so that we can get health back. That didn't drain as much health as I wanted it to. Alright, well, I will maybe get another turn. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have to switch. Probably, I probably should have just, uh, it was effective. Maybe I should have just used Leech Life. And we do need as many Giga Drains as possible. Alright, well we can't keep battling like this, we have to switch. In fact, as I said, this should have been in front. But, never mind. We can uh, not do too much about that. We resist Psyche, but... Ooh. 
actually didn't do a whole lot to us, that's good. I thought to myself that it would do a bit more to us, but that's fine. It will go for Shadow Ball, I believe. We should resist it to a small degree, but... Oh no, sh uh, Dark uh, Steel doesn't really resist Ghost anymore, does it? Um, held on, that's good. We don't need it to do... We don't need it to kill this thing. We just need it to get damage on this thing uh, and get rid of that berry. That's our real problem, is getting rid of that berry. Dark Pulse, that's fine. We're probably getting taken down here, that's fine. It was a useful team member, so now what do I send in? Um, probably... Mm, Palkia. Spatial Rend is just very strong. Um, yeah, just Palkia with Spatial Rend. I feel like that's probably the best play here. Fight pressure with pressure. We should take it out in a couple turns. Oh, well, we take it out in one turn. That's fine. That's good. We got rid of it. We had to take some damage, some serious damage on our um, Crobat. I don't feel great about switching it in right now, but we pretty much have to. This is pretty much the one of the few only other real Pokemon that we really needed to deal with. So... Even so, I feel like it's fine to send it in. Even if it goes down, it might be fine. We might still be able to uh, do what we need to do uh, with the rest of the battle. So we still have ground moves and whatnot, and we still have healing with Black Sludge. So we could still squeak by, perhaps. I'm not too sure. It's going to be probably a bit close. Uh, oh, there we go. We avoided via shout out. That's good. So that's even better. We we're holding on. Like I said, um, the friendship stuff and whatnot is a bit OP to a degree, but it's the only thing that sometimes keeps us in the game when we make a small mistake like that. Um, even oh, we avoided. He avoided us. That's not good. But we might survive. No, we don't. But we've we've get, gotten damage on this thing. Um, Palkia, Gyarados, or Garchomp? Because it doesn't honestly have many moves. It actually has dragon moves. I found that out. So I think Gyarados is my best bet here. Oh, that's a little bit sad, but whatever. Uh, we'll just bulldoze. It's not the most powerful move, but again, it's fine. We're not weak to dragon, but we're not... I don't think we resist it. That's fine. That didn't do the damage I was worried it might do. Um, hopefully that... Was that enough? Yep, that was just enough. But that small mistake did cost us a bit. Um, yeah, Gastrodon. Um, what can we switch for Gastron? Because now we're in a bit of a pickle. Actually, Ice is kind of effective. Um, we do have Grass Knot on this, though I don't really want to use it, so I do think that this is just sticking in. My Lodic's the only other one that I can think of that sort of we really need to worry about. That too. Nearly enough. Rough Tomb. Oh no. Man, it's got leftovers. Ugh. I think we just have to go for something, even if it's re somewhat resisted. Um, just for the power. 
this is why we kind of needed Crobat. Um, but yeah, we don't... Oh no, I forgot that it has... Storm Drain, frick's sake. That's a physical move. Forget these things. Can't remember every single goddamn ability on every single goddamn Pokemon. Because I know somebody's typing, ah, oh, you've got this, Bob. Bro, there's 50,000 things going on. You expect me to remember all of them? Uh, going down here. We're not going down. Our speed is going down, but we're not yet. I don't even know if we're actually making headway here. Ah. Uh, No, no. What else can we do? <laughs> this is what we can do. This is where we're at. So we just have to deal with what we have. Now this thing... Wait, does this thing have Ice Beam? Or does it? is it Milotic that has Ice Beam? Uh, I think it's Milotic. I think... Palkia's best choice here, I'm not sure. We're getting actually down, and this is really, really bad for us. We're in a really tough position here. That one little mistake of just like not having the right Pokemon out in front really cost us. Because if we had have had that right Pokemon, we would have gotten a better setup, and our uh, Crobat would have been in a better position, and we would have got more moves. Uh, and whatnot in so all right we'll switch for Rose raid there's no point in sticking in we can take this out pretty easily. Pretty sure she'll send in um, my Lodic after this. Poison hurts us, but not enough to be too afraid of because we do have um, Shell Bell and we will recover some of their health. Most of their health and the friendship thing is OP, so we will, you know, lose it eventually without even needing to heal. Yeah, my Lodic switch. We switch for. Will we switch for Palkia? Yeah, we'll switch for Palkia. Okay, we're we're slowly turning this battle around, however. But she, my Lodic does have ice moves, is what I remember. Um, so, yeah, we we will have to worry about that. She does only have the two Pokemon left. I should have actually got to go for Thunderbolt, but I just want to get some chip damage perhaps on this thing, even if it's going to Ice Beam us. We, oh, we, are, we actually do resist that, that's right, I forget that we actually do resist it. So yeah, we're much better off than what I thought we would be, so that's alright. Right, right we'll Thunderbolt here now, because this will probably kill at the- Oh, we didn't quite kill at this range. Maricode's fine, we just, oh, that did way more than what I thought it would. Alright, that's not good. Oh, burn kills it, right? Burn kills it? Alright, we got rid of my Lodic. Good, so she's just downed her Garchomp. Um... We honestly don't have enough, though, do we? Or do we? Oh, I really need... Perhaps Garchomp last. So yeah, I think we go with Infernape. Because if Garchomp, our Garchomp goes in against her Garchomp, it will be way worse for us um, than if our Garchomp goes in while her Garchomp is injured and 
hurt and down from our inferno. So we will just do whatever we can do to damage this thing. We are getting our sped. Amazing. All right, did we die? We did die. All right, well, we did what we could do with that. We couldn't really do a whole lot with that. Um, we are at a slightly higher level, I believe. So I'm not sure whether we'll outspeed, but we probably would outspeed. We just have to hope for the best. Oh, we actually avoided their, their attack. There we go. All right. Now we're now we're in a good position. Even with rough skin, that's fine. We can we can take that. That's fine. We're getting back health with our uh, leftovers, so we're fine. Even with her having healing, we're actually in the in the right position here to be in. Even if she heals, that's fine. That is hundred percent fine because we'll just take it back down again. So this is going to come right down to the wire. So she's in red, so if it, at the end of this turn... Um, we can we can keep her, just keep using full restores until she doesn't have any left. Uh, and that will soft lock her into not attacking, attacking us. Do, we do get hit by rough skin. And she will have to have the last turn to attack, I believe, but I'm not too sure. Um, but we we can only do what we can do and hope that it's just enough just to hang on and get through this thing. We should have better health and better defenses than what this thing has because we're a couple of he levels higher. It's going for Dragon Claw. Oh, so close, so close. All right, well, yeah, if we had have had the right Pokemon in front, we would have won. We would have won. So I'll bring you guys back here when we're back here. All right, here we go. This time I'm actually leading with the right Pokemon, so hopefully this will go a lot better. At least, hopefully. We're still going to probably be taking it down pretty darn quickly, but that's okay. That's not what is super important here. We really just... Uh, we had a bad battle. And that's not good for us since we got taken out in one hit, but that is fine nonetheless. Alright. We got some amount of damage on them. On the thing. Actually, I think I want power kit for spatial rand. Uh, so yes, we'll switch in for power kit. It doesn't seem like much. I and I think if we had got that one more turn out of out of it, it would have been better, definitely. But we can only deal with what we have in front of us, and we can't do. Anything else? So we do take out Spirit Tomb there. That is good. All right. Now, what will she bring in? Because she's not like the other Elite Fours and whatnot. Lucario. Okay. All right. Well, we can deal with Lucario in many different ways. Lucario should be. Uh, where is it? Crobat. <laughs> All right. We got pretty unlucky actually in the Elite Four one time there where Fly actually missed. But for the most part, the Elite Four, I decided not to really screw around since we I just wanted to get back to this battle as quickly as possible. So I just kind of went hard mode on the Elite Four and just like bodied the whole thing for the most part as much as I could uh, with the best things that I could. Um, so no real screwing around uh, through that. But that was all right. Gonna get flash cannon, that's fine. Gonna do some damage to us, that's fine. I'm surprised uh, sometimes that sometimes they get the crit, but sometimes they don't. But that is fine. We still are here, we are still doing damage, and we are still in a decent position. So we are fine. 
Now I know it resists it, but it should take it out. Yep, there we go. Alright, now what will she send in now? Gastrodon, Garchomp? Oh no, Gastrodon or whatever. My loading. Okay, so we want to switch maybe for Palkia. Um, yeah, for Palkia. Alright, I'm feeling good now. I think we're actually doing really well right here. But we are only at the start of the battle. But we, the first part didn't go completely as planned. But we are doing better than what we were doing last time. Because, well, we have to cover less catch-up, essentially. Um, and then we do have grass moves and that for the other one. So we don't really have to worry as much about that uh, as what we do with this. We have to get rid of this. And what's she going for? I think Thunderbolt should be pretty effective on everything. Even Rose Ray, it shouldn't do a lot, but it can do something. And this is why we've got so much coverage on Palkia, because it can deal with so many things. And this might do a lot. Uh, to us. Uh, it didn't do as much as what I had feared, but it did do quite a bit to us. So that is fine. We take that down, which is good. Now what will she send in? Gaining levels halfway through. That is fine. Gastrodon. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this can take it out with Spatial Rend as well. So we might just keep this in just to pile in the damage and just to keep the advantage going. We do only have a couple Spatial Rends left. That is probably fine. We'll probably take it down pretty quickly here. Um, rock Tombing, we don't really care about. That is fine. I might want to change from using Spatial Rain. Actually, I shouldn't really just use an Ether, but whatever, that is fine. Hmm. Oh, I can't 100% change from Spatial Rain. We could just go for Surf just to pile in damage. Oh, I keep forgetting it! Ah, I keep forgetting it has goddamn. Alright, whatever sake. Yes, I can't remember every single goddamn thing. Jesus. Uh, I know someone's typing. You forgot again. Yes, I forgot again. There's 30,000 other things that I have got to try to keep track of, let alone that. And yes, it screwed me up again, but jeez. Alright, we're past that. <sighs> Whatever. Stupid, stupid, so stupid, I couldn't remember. But what? Alright, recovering is fine, I don't care about that, that's fine. I was interested that it actually outsped us there, but that's fine. Really don't care. It's burnt, so it's attack is dropped. We are at low health. It could kill us, but that is fine. We are at one. That It did tough it out, so that is some... Oh, we got frozen. Oh, no. Well, we might as well let it kill us so that we can get a free switch. Don't know what we're gonna actually switch into here. Actually, I'll just switch into Probat. That's that's the best pick here, I think. So we're actually on a better percentile here, much better than last time. Even though I again screwed up. I know, I know. People are gonna keep <laughs> saying, "Oh, you screwed up." I know. <laughs> Don't you think I know? Alright, I think the burn should kill. Ah, oh, the recovery. Of course it's recovering now. It wouldn't have recovered otherwise. 
was stupid. It would have hit me for damage. Whatever. It can't stick out here forever and hope for the best. Unless she does decide to switch. Which she might do, I'm not sure, but again, just the percentile of her doing so seems kind of small. Even though she's got cover, I keep forgetting about cover, but still, that's not as hurtful as what it could be. It is slowing us, our momentum kind of down and is slowing the momentum of the battle kind of down, but that is fine. We just need to get through all of this, which... I believe that we can. Actually, I don't know how many... We might just want to look this up really quickly so that I don't feel like I'm kind of dumb here. Um, uh, oh, I don't have it up anymore. I can't be bothered looking it up properly. Uh, too much. She is down to the last two Pokemon. <sighs> Super effective. Last Pokemon is Garchomp. Last Pokemon is Garchomp. So hang on. Let's think. Let's think through this. Nah. Nah, that's fine. Alright. We just have to hold out on this. This is... It's a bit annoying, but... Ice Beam probably won't kill. No, not from that range. The more that she, oh, but the more that she doesn't attack, and the more that we get to weaken her with what we're doing, is the better for us. If she keeps just recovering, honestly, she's not going to win. And if she doesn't recover, she's not going to win. So we just win. There we go. Well, what? What? I thought it was dead. This is literally like on one. We lived on one too, but there we go. Oh, the burn kills it. Oh, the burn kills it. There. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't realize that it was actually on one. I, did, I just thought, wait, what? It's Tatanians? What? I thought it died. All right, so what do we want directly against Garchomp? Actually, Ice Fang probably is pretty pog. So, Garchomp almost won the battle for us. I do feel like we could come close. So, we might do the same ish thing. But we just have more Pokemon. So what would it use against me? It would use ground against Infernape. It would probably take us out in one hit. Or two hits. It can't use ground against us with Gyarados. Is Gyarados better to weaken it? Or is it better that I go into my own Garchomp to... To win. I think I think Garchomp came so close last time to winning that I will use Garchomp to weaken it and then use Gyarados to finish it. I think that makes the most sense. <clears throat> I 
Sometimes these decisions are difficult decisions, and sometimes it takes a bit of thinking through, okay, how can this affect me? How can this uh, work for me? What can I do here? What can I do there? And of course, if we, oh, it's setting up, it's setting up. That is not good, but it is fine since we are going to get the attacks on it as quickly as we can. It not attacking does help us quite a bit. So she is going to have to restore. That is fine. We don't care about that at all because we have healing too. We have slow healing, but we have consistent healing. I know this is fine. We're getting there. She'll restore. Oh, she didn't. She didn't. Okay. That is fine, I think. No, she has restores. She still has restores, I'm pretty sure. Unless she's run out. I don't know whether to go for it. I can't think if she's used all her restores. If we go for it, we might lose, but... It's so close. It's so close. Probat's really not going to do anything at this point. Infernape might get one hit in. Oh, man. Don't know what to do. I don't want to do this battle over again. If she has something, she has something. And at the end of the day, she has it. So, we have to plan for her to have it. We have to make her have it. We have to do the best we can with what we've got. Because again, we just don't, I just don't know what she's got. Okay, cool, we avoided Earthquake, that's good. I really don't care, okay. I was overthinking it because I was just like, to a degree, I guess, because I was just like, she surely has something, she surely has something, what, like, what's going on? And maybe it was the fact that we actually dodged, but we still had, you know, Gyarados, so we still could have won, but we have won one way or the other, that is it, it's over, Oh, we did it, ah, uh, Stressful at times, confusing, perplexing, um, difficult decisions at times. Perhaps, like, sometimes I'm overthinking it and whatnot, but, like, I prefer to at least overthink it and be like, okay, what can she have? Because surely this isn't the end. Like, plan for every um, bump in the hill as much as possible because it can go any which way, but... It is what it is, guys, But and that is the run for the most part here. Uh, we'll be getting into the Hall of Fame any second now, but, yeah, we will be in the Hall of Fame, as you well know. Um, it was a fun run. It was a difficult run at times because I had to really look a lot of things up. And, yes, if I had figured Jirachi out, before it would have probably been at a better level and it would have been a bit more useful to us but it did help us get that win and i did think that we could get that win based on what we kind of got through um several battles before and that's really what really helped us is like okay i can know mostly what the pokemon are and like again i, I think i we got to cynthia this was maybe the one of the few times that we did get to Cynthia, uh, in this run at least, I haven't got to her in a long time in other uh, uh, since playing this game, because I haven't played these games in quite a while, I don't think. Uh, it might look like I have, due to the uploads and whatnot that have come out on the channel, but I actually haven't played this game in quite a while. I've been playing a lot of other games. Uh, I kind of forgot that I was playing this, uh, or didn't really forget, but I did forget to a degree, 
but it was one of those things where you know everything else was happening going on uh the tour uh no the Torterra run the blue boy run that i got up um the ending this part kind of um didn't come together quite the way i wanted it to but a lot of the other stuff that actually did and i really want to start editing things down more and more um with these playthroughs and whatnot because like seeing those key moments and whatnot of the game and whatnot are a little bit more special and whatnot for people and that is what hooks people so i'd rather do that kind of thing um and whatnot with it so but yeah that is the run you guys can let me know what you guys think let me know what other runs you want to see me do uh in this game while we're waiting for the new games to come out it's not actually that far away honestly but hey and we'll have to have new things to do um, after those games come out because the hype train is there certainly for when the games come out. But yeah, they they do disappear pretty quickly. But I do like to play some some games and then be like, okay, what else can we do? What else can we do? <laughs> you know, like. But anyway, guys, as I said, if I don't see you guys down there in those comments, tell me what you think or what you want to see next. I hope to see you in the next one.